Hi everyone and welcome back. We read in the book of Peter that we have an inheritance that is incorruptible and undefiled. It does not fade away and is reserved in heaven for us. Isn't that amazing? Now, I have had the experience of meeting people who have received an inheritance on this earth. Their father, their parents may have passed away and they've received a large amount of money. And you know, in many instances, that money has caused more trouble than what it's worth. It's, it's, it's divided families. It's put so much pressure. And for some people, they've spent it unwisely and they've lost it. But the inheritance that you and I have through the blood of Jesus Christ, because we're born again, because we're children of God, it's inheritance that is eternal. It's incorruptible. It's undefiled. It will never pass away. It is reserved in heaven for us. So that's wonderful. And that's a real blessing and brings a wonderful assurance for each and every born again believer that when we leave this earth, we will continue to live in the peace and the presence and the joy of God himself. However, there's another aspect because we read in Colossians chapter 3, where Paul writes and says, Whatever you do, do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men, knowing that the law of the Lord you shall receive the reward of the inheritance, for you serve the Lord Jesus Christ. So Paul brings another aspect by saying that, yes, as a born-again believer, you have an inheritance waiting for you, but the way you live on this earth will determine what lies ahead. Mm, that's something to think about. It's like a garden. When we moved into this property where we are in, there was just a bit of scrappy grass. There was not much there. My wife and I, we got, my wife, I should say, got busy. I was just under instruction and she has planted a beautiful garden and lawn and flowers. And it's, it's wonderful. It's joyous to look at the fruit of that. But what she put in is what she's getting out. It's the same with, with money. It's the same with children. There are parents today who put nothing into their children and then wonder why their children grow up to be such reckless, wild young adults, if I can leave it at that. You and I, we need to learn to live with this inheritance in mind. What a treasure God has given us. So we have a responsibility to share this treasure, this inheritance with the whosoever in our families, in our communities. We have a responsibility to live worthy of the calling of God. We have a responsibility to make sure that the way we live now will prepare a rich reward for each and every one of us on the other side when we partake of that amazing inheritance. Let that be our understanding today. God bless.